Hello there guys, so let's start with our clean face. I'm using foundation for this look to even out my skin tone. Here I'm using Revlon Color Stay. This foundation is really good because of the coverage and the staying power. So I will just buff that foundation into my skin so everything will even out and I will also drag a little bit of that into my neck. And using a Benye concealer to hide my dark circles. And with the help of the damp sponge to help me blend that concealer into my skin. To set everything, I will use Benye Banana Luxury Powder so my concealer and my foundation won't slide off. Using NYX Eyebrow Gel in Brunette to outline and filling in my brows. This brow gel dries so fast so you have to work quickly, but once it's set or dry, it will stay all day. And also don't forget to use your spoolie to blend everything and it will give more natural look. So here I already done my eyebrow and one of my eye. So let's go ahead to the other eye. Here I'm using a taupe eyeshadow as my transition color putting it into my crease and blending it in. Using a brown eyeshadow, I will put that into the outer area and also the inner area of my lid. And also dragging that brown eyeshadow on the top, avoiding the middle part of my lid because I will use a different eyeshadow color on that area. And using a blending brush, I will blend everything so we don't have a harsh line. And using a light metallic gray from Slick Palette, I will apply that into the middle of my lid to highlight that part. And using a pencil brush to diffuse the edges so the metallic gray and the brown will blend nicely. And I will put a brown eyeshadow also into the lower lash line. And I will add also some black to give more definition to our eyes dragging it into about halfway and don't forget to blend everything using that metallic light gray I will also put that into the inner part and meeting the black and brown eyeshadow into the middle Here I'm tight lining using a black coal pencil and I will also line my eye using it. So in this look I won't put a wing, just a regular lining. When it's done, you can put your false lashes to add some drama. And also line your waterline with that black coal pencil.
using a white shimmery shadow to highlight our tear ducts area. Using a matte white eyeshadow, I will use that to highlight my brow bone. And coating my false lashes and my lashes together using a contour powder to give definition to our face and also to my nose And here I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose to give an illusion of a taller or higher nose. And using a lip liner from Nishido, I will outline my lips. I will also fill in my lips with that lip liner to top that off I will use a wet n wild mega last lipstick in cherry picking you can use any red lipstick. So here's our lips. Lip using that contour powder. And I will use a highlight to the highest point of my cheek to give me a little bit of glow. And here's the eyes. And we're done. So this look is very easy to make and look elegant and classic. You can wear it into a party or any special occasion that you want to attend. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!